What's happening? Give me keys. The keys for what? Give me your keys. Did I stutter? Give me uh, your keys. I think I heard you properly. What's wrong with this dude? Here, see his face so y'all can see what he's saying. I'm going to hold my camera while he's right here too. So that way if he get anything, I document his ass and y'all see him doing whatever he's trying to do. That's my license. Here goes my insurance. And let me give you that registration too. So what was your reasoning for talking disrespectful though? Because you're not complying and I have. I'm not complying? I had my camera on the whole time. I'm a YouTuber, this is what I do. So I hope you're valid okay. with everything you're saying. What's your name? I'm sorry. I, I thought I told you that. Triple Age name. and badge number? Yeah. Come on out. Come on out? Okay, y'all hear this man talking about come on out. It is, constant, it is a law where if I ask you to step out of the vehicle, you're required by law to step out. Y'all hear this G-Squad? Okay, okay let's you. see. Come on out. Put your camera down, you don't need it. Ah, tell me to put my camera down. This is crazy. Everything. What's going on guys and as you can see from that video tall guy just got fucking arrested It doesn't make any sense whatsoever as to why he was arrested I can understand why he got pulled over maybe because of loud exhaust Maybe people thought he was racing Maybe some other people were racing and then he just caught the blame for it but the fact that the cop didn't even give him a chance, he didn't even give him any kind of, like, he didn't treat him like a human being, really. He just said, give me your fucking keys, pretty much. And, um, basically gave him no time to figure out what was going on. The cop didn't answer any questions, didn't give him his badge number. He gave him his initials, but he can't really do much with that. And then he tried to block out the camera. He turned off all the cameras. The cop was just doing everything wrong. And as you know, if you have follow Corey, is that his brother is a cop and he pretty much told him that you can't do that shit and um it's just real dumb like shit could have been worse for sure like if he was by himself then something definitely could have bad happened and like he said in the video i don't know to reveal too much because it's his video but he was saying that his brother also got charged but he didn't get charged with racing he got charged with like following too close while Corey was charged with uh reckless driving or something like that so you can't really be racing and then only get charged with that if you were really racing so they obviously were racing they were just following each other to the drag strip so anyways i just think it's bullshit uh link the bio to his channel his video and i think i'm gonna include his gofundme link because he needs to get a real good lawyer for this shit um so yeah definitely go check him out if you already support him definitely go support him but if you're new to him definitely go check out his video he's got a dummy sick ass hellcat it's pushing like a thousand horsepower uh claim no one knows for sure but i'm pretty sure it's a thousand horsepower and his brother got a nice hellcat too so um he's a real big inspiration to me uh getting into cars so definitely give him a like give him a follow and check him out but anyways that's gonna do it for this video comment below your thoughts on how the cop handled it if he should handle it that way or if he should handle it a different way but in my opinion he handled it all wrong so Definitely go check them out. Share this video if you want to get the word out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.